Welcome back to the channel, Upcyclers. Today we have something special, not just a graded card reveal, not just a graded card revealed of some cards that had been previously graded as we continue to try to unlock the mystery and the enigma that is sports card grading, but we've got a tag reveal. Everyone's favorite kind of video, my favorite grading company, and apparently all of y'all's favorite videos as well. So. I've got about 20 cards here. Let's get to it. These first four are ones that were previously graded by another company. And we're gonna see how we did uh, crossing them over to tag. So this was a uh, Bowman Chrome Refractor uh, numbered out of 499 of Fernando Tatis from uh, 2019 Bowman. Me personally, I like the 2019 Bowman card better than the tops one. I like the image, I like that it's uh, vertical, not a horizontal card. Anyway, this got a eight, and their big issue on it was the edges. Tag agreed that it is an eight. This is interesting. I want to look at this one. We're going to take a look at the end of the video. We'll come back to this one, and we'll take a look at the uh, the actual grade report, and uh, maybe we can learn. All right. This one was interesting. This one I bought a while back and I just kind of had it sitting in my personal collection. Um, and it had a, it was a BGS nine, but it didn't have subgrades. So I didn't really know. Sent it over to uh, tag and they gave it a 960, which gave it as a 10, which is a real nice bump on this card. That one's definitely gonna stay in the personal collection. We'll do like that. Now, this was an SCG9. This is the purple refractor um, version of that same Tatis card from earlier. It went from a nine and stayed a nine. So that's good. You know, there's at least some amount of uh, accuracy and consistently consistency there. Let's put that one there. And the last one, this was an interesting one. And I'll tell you why. I bought this initially in an HGA slab. That was not me that sent it to HGA. I bought it this way. Um, and it was a nine. And I thought I could cross it over to PSA. So I cracked it out, sent it over to PSA. And PSA gave it a seven, which I thought was really interesting. So I sent it over to TAG and they gave it an eight five. So I think this is another one, probably these two, um, we're gonna take a closer look at at the end of the video. We're gonna quickly go through the other 16 cards and then we're gonna go take a look at the grading report on uh, these two. So here, I'll set these guys off to the side and we'll get a 10 pile going and we'll get a nine pile going and uh, hopefully we don't need any other piles. All right, so now we have, this is uh, the Trophy Hunter. This is the Wave Refractor, which I don't know how well that's coming out on camera there, and I can kind of see it. Um, it's a pretty hard pull, just a cool looking card. It was something I wanted for my PC. Generally, the theme you're gonna see in my videos, as I mentioned before, is most of the stuff that goes to tag is PC stuff or stuff that I've graded with another company that I just want to try to understand what happened as I continue to learn about grading. Um, generally, the stuff I send to PSA, I'm usually looking to uh, flip and sell, and that is, of course, how I finance my uh, personal collection. So that is a nine. Now we get this nice Mike Trout. This is the 2019 Topps Chrome Refractor. I just think this is a really great image of him jumping up. So you can see the ball in the glove. It's just a great image. And that got a 10, just barely, it got a 950. So uh, the range for 10s is 950 up to 990 and anything above, or I guess 989 and anything 990 and up gets a 10 per scene. So we just barely got it. But you know what they say, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Um, this is a cool looking card. This is the color match uh, Bobby Witt from 2023 Chrome, the Slurky Cup, so it's out of 150. And that got a strong one. That was a 971.10. Very good. 
Now I'm going to do these two together. This is the uh, Topps Chrome and Bowman Chrome um, gold out of 50 rookie cards from Joe Musgrove. Again, big Padres fan. And uh, these are just a nice pair that go together. So that one got a 907 for a 9. And I got a 962 for a 10. So there's those. And I got a couple of Tatis cards here. We've got the, um, this is from the uh, uh, Tatis Tops, you know, player curated set. Uh, the, the El Nino nickname. It is from 2019. It does have the rookie card logo on it. These are fairly low pop cards. I got a 952 for a 10. And then the uh, AKA, also known as nickname card from um, 23 Tops, which is actually a fairly hard pull. And, um, but these cards, this uh, sort of rarer insert, really hasn't done all that great. So I just think it's a cool card for my personal collection, but I'm happy that it got a 10, of course. So we're looking pretty good. This was one that I was planning on keeping regardless of the grade. I am a huge fan of the Stadium Chrome Stadium Club Gold Minted cards. I've got a little non-graded collection going of kind of stars and Hall of Famers. And um, this is the Tatis Rookie. It took me a little while to hunt this one down for a good deal. Um, and it got a nine, which I'm totally fine with. That is staying in the PC. This, I ripped some 2019 Topps Chrome, and this one just looks so good. So I sent it in, and sure enough, it got a 10. This one I thought was a little interesting. Um, I was a little concerned about the centering on this one. Um, but it did, in fact, get a 10. This is, of course, the Prism uh, rookie card. And last... We have the blue parallel of the 2021 Tops Update Black Gold. These are just really cool cards. Um, this is a redo of uh, an old set. These black gold cards from like the 90s. And it just looks really cool. And that got a 9. Alright, so we're going to jump over to the uh, computer. And we're going to take a more close look at the grading report. So we can uh, understand how these guys got the grades that they did. So let's jump over there. Okay, so we've got the first one pulled up here. This is the Beam Team Black. Um, it got an 865, which translates to an 85. It's the first one they've graded. Okay, the back got a 966, but the front got an 857. All right, so let's dig into that. Surface, got an 840 on surface. Everything else looked good on the front. 99 corners were good. Centering was excellent. Edges were perfect. So really, it boils down to the surface. Now, if we go back and compare that to the subgrades on the uh, HGA, they gave it an 8.5 for surface, 9 on corners, 9.5 on edges, and a 10 for centering. So they were at least in the neighborhood. Now, PSA gave it a 7. So the only reason they could have given it a 7 was because of surface issues. So here are the surface issues listed out. And here they are showing it to us. Sorry, those are the corners. All right. So now we click into these. Ink surface defect, scratches, pit, scratches. Let's just pull up one of the scratches and see what we get. Okay, there you can see the image. So it's down here, right below his hand. Now, I cannot see that through the plastic um, of the slab, but that appears to be the spot right there where it says ID2. Interesting. Let's take a look at one more. Let's look at these scratches. 
There's the scratch right there. That is a scratch on the back. So that didn't have that much to do with it. Okay, so the back actually got a pretty good score, right? Yeah, the back got a 963 score. The front got an 840. And the only two issues on the front are these two. There must be a pretty good sized scratch right under his hand right there. And let's see where this pit is. Okay, there's a pit, which is going to be hard to see in the dark background, but it is kind of in the area between his arm and the diamond shape of the border. So, hey, at least we have our answer. All right, we've got the Tatis 2019 refractor pulled up. Let's see, this one got an 823. It's the only one they've graded. This got a 958 on the front, but the back got an 804. Let's see why. Centering was good. Quarters were good. Surface edges. There it is. So it's the back edges. The fray, the fill was good. ESW. ESW is edge surface wear. So there is. So it's not like the cut. It's. Essentially, just a fancy way of saying there's there's chipping, there's damage on the edge. So there should be some detail down here on it. Here's all the corner stuff. And here we go. And it looks like we've got some chipping in those spots right there along the back. Now, at that level of zoom with the different exposures and filters it's got on it i can't really see it you can kind of see it in reality i have a uh, jeweler's loop with a light and i looked at that spot on the card and you can see it now the 783 getting essentially a seven or a low eight feels a little harsh to me that it dropped it down that far but you know at least it at least we have an answer you can kind of see it that's as far as that picture will zoom in, but you can kind of see some little something right there. But that's that's essentially the spot. So yeah, I mean, the great thing about this is at least you know, right? You know what the reason is. And this whole report is just fantastic to go through. Did I wish it got a 10? Of course, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for your time. Like, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram and all that good stuff. We try to put out a new video every Friday morning at 11 a.m. So I hope you join us next week. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.